girls and guys, it is Sarah from Style Let's Play, and we are back playing Girlfriend's Guide to Breakup Part 2. So this is about freedom. You know, she had her best friend betray her, and, you know, it got all kinds of crazy. So you know what? She's going to be a strong, independent woman, and she's going to move on with her life. And that's why this is called Girlfriend's Guide to Freedom, because she's got no man tying her down. So let's go ahead and get right into it. But it looks like she's already fallen in love with someone else. Oh, my. Oh, previously on Girlfriend's Guide to Breakup. Lisa is a normal high school girl. She's prepared a birthday cake for her perfect quarterback boyfriend, Jack, as a surprise. Oh, but he had a surprise for her, didn't he? Mm-hmm. However, there was a bigger surprise for her. You see that? That was Lisa, heartbroken, shook. So shook she dropped her cake because she could not believe what was happening. <sighs> the good thing is that Lisa still had two best friends, Phoebe and Delia, Dela, da, 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 da. we're gonna call her, we're gonna call her Delia, Delilah, that's not Delilah, but we're gonna call her Delilah because you know, um, I can't say her name, so we're gonna call them Phoebe and Delilah, they gave her tips on makeup and dress up, oh, and supported her finally breaking up with Jack, good for you Lisa, you deserved better than Jack, okay, so good for you, mm. I am so proud of you, Lisa. Okay. Oh, to do do to to do league, <laughs> to do list. Fresh start and new Lisa. All right. So we're gonna help her reinvent herself, get her confidence back. Rule number seven: Fresh start, new Lisa. I cannot believe what just happened this month, girl. Me neither. I cannot believe what happened to you. However, today I will go shopping with Delilah and Phoebe downtown. Oh. A nice little girl's day out? Oh, yes. They told me they need to change me upside down. <laughs> no, they don't. Gosh, you're not that much of a mess, you know? It seems I'm not fashionable enough, as they said. Okay, I don't know how I feel about your friends saying you're not fashionable and that they need to, like, completely make you over. Like, they need to just let you be yourself, you know? Anyways, a fresh start and a new Lisa is what we need exactly all right here we go first thing we gotta do got a lot of little stray hairs going on in your eyebrows girl uh we have to get rid of those so let's go ahead and get rid of that mm -hmm. get the eyebrows on fleek there we go let's go ahead and put on some nice little you know um eyeliner oh should we go like should should we really like try out new fun things i mean this is a new lisa after all she's reinventing herself I like the blue eyeliner though. I like that. So we're going to go with the blue. And then she needs some eyeshadow as well. So it has to match what we just did. So let's. Well, um. Well. Lisa. <laughs> we could have gone with something a little bit more subtle. You know? I mean. <laughs> I don't like the blue on the blue. I I, I kind of I, I don't know how I feel about the, the the blue and the blue, but it doesn't look too bad. But I think the purple looks kind of looks kind of nice. So we're gonna go with the purple, and then now she needs a lipstick color. We're gonna go something really subtle because her eyes have enough going on right now. We don't we don't need any more like attention to her face right now. It's just it's a lot. I kind of oh that's a nice little lip gloss, isn't it? But I kind of like this one. Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. There we go. And then, last but not least, we need to give her some blush. Um, again, I think just go with like a natural color. I don't really want any sparkle because there's enough sparkle going on on her eyeballs, you know? So we're gonna go with that. Oh! <laughs> New Lisa, you're looking good. Oh, we gotta give you your clothes as well. Oh, a nice little crop top and some nice little shorts with some heels. You're gonna go shopping in heels? Girl. Your feet are going to be killing you after this. I'm just telling you. But if you like your outfit, that's all that matters. So BFF shopping is the best. So it's on to rule number eight. BFF shopping is the best. It really is. Oh, there are her friends. Hey, girls. You are so early today. Lisa, today I will show you my secret shopping spots. I know every cool shop in this town. Oh, look at them. They're all fashionable, all funky and stuff. And here I am in just a uh, crop top and shorts. <laughs> okay. Delilah, you are a crazy shopaholic. Mm-hmm. But 
for sure. We will need to give Lisa a brand new look. Jack will know what he has messed up. Mm-hmm. Jack, you messed up by dumping Lisa. Well, not dumping her because you cheated on her. I mean, cheating on her, which led to you being dumped. We got to rub it in Jack's face. Come on, Phoebe. Jack who? Yeah, Jack who? Yeah, forget about him. We don't even need to mention his name anymore. I already have some ideas in my mind. Let's pick up the best outfit for you, Lisa. Okay, so what's going to be the best the outfit? We got to look fabulous cool. from head to toe. What is that that they got her wearing? She looks like she's about to go to like some salsa class with these sleeves. Okay, but maybe when she has it all on, it'll look better. <laughs> I hope so. And she's got rips in her jeans as well. Um, see, you know what? So cool. It looked really odd off her, but you know, on it doesn't look that bad. See, it looks so cool. Um, oh, here we have another option. Hold up, you know we have other choices. We don't have to get freaked out just yet. So let's add the skirt. We got some nice little heels. We have like a sheer top, but we gotta have something underneath, you know? And then we're gonna add a sheer layer over the skirt and some ruffles. They really like ruffles around here, don't they? They they really do. Really yeah, that's cute, not that's not too bad. I like that. That's cute. This is really cute, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cute. All right. Oh, oh so, I think this so might beautiful. be my favorite though. I feel like this is the most age appropriate, you know? Cause I mean she is only in high school. She's not like some grown woman. And then let's put the little Mickey Mouse logo. This color makes your skin look gorgeous. I like it. Um Okay. So let's see. The shirt is $84. What? Oh, this whole outfit is $84. This dress is $84. $109 for this outfit. That is a lot of money. So I think out of all of them, I mean, I would say it's between the pink dress and um, this outfit here. Even though Mickey Mouse kind of has me a little bit worried right now. But we're going to go with this one, okay? I don't think anybody noticed that. I mean, uh... Alright, let's swipe this card. Now we're broke and we've got no money. $84 for one outfit seems like a lot of money. I'm just saying. Okay, now we have to sign here. Yes. That's my signature. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Alright, there you go, Lisa. Are you ready to go now? Okay, so now we have to put the outfit on. Oh, we have to wrap it. Okay, so we're going to put the little box over Good it. Job. Let's put the wrapping paper. Oh, we're going to choose the wrapping paper. Ooh Let's see. Uh, oh, my gosh. The yellow polka dot one is so cute. <gasps> but the heart one is too. I like this one. Okay, I'm going to have to go with the yellow because it's my favorite color. But they were all really cute wrapping papers. And then we need um, a ribbon to go around. And a Horse. Wonderful. You can't forget the bow. It's oh, we nice. have to pick a color for the ribbon. <gasps> I think a blue would be nice. It would really like pop. And then we have to have the bow. You need the bow to go. Um, what color? Ah, that's perfect. Perfect. And then now let's go ahead and put that in the bag. Let's go with. No, let's go with this one. No, that one kind of looks like an old lady bag. That one does too a little bit. Can we go with... We'll go with that one. Mm-hmm. Perfect. She's got her shopping bag. She has her outfit ready. She is good to go. She's going to look fabulous in this new outfit. She really is. I believe in you, Lisa. All right? Next up, always enjoy me time. Ooh, what's this about? Me time is always very important. So let's see what this me time involves. Ah, music is my little fantasy island. I can always find joy and peace when I'm playing the piano. Music has magic that makes me happy. This is my secret me time. Okay. Well, Lisa, I'm sorry to say, I love music too. And I understand that music brings happiness. I mean, I really, really love music. But I got no musical talent. So I'm going to try my best here. But no promises. Oh my gosh. This is like piano tiles. Oh, I love this game. Oh, that's the only musical talent I had. Oh my gosh. Okay, Lisa. You need to calm down. I'm not that this good at this game. Uh, uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lisa. Can we end this level or something? 
Is it gonna keep going? My thumbs! Ah! They're hurting! <gasps> I passed! Woohoo! Uh oh! Uh oh! Maybe I do have secret talents <laughs> that I didn't know about. Okay, good. See? Her me time is her piano. I think that's important. It's important for you to find something that you love to do that that's healthy, that like release your stress and stuff. So rule number tw number 10, beware the opportunity. What does that mean? Beware the opportunity. Okay, what's this? Oh, she's got an email. From who? It's the school music teacher, Mrs. Shire. She's recommending me to teens musical competition this year to represent my school. <gasps> oh my gosh. If I can win the first place prize, I will be a huge advantage for getting into a good school in the future. Also, it offers a scholarship for good performers every year. <gasps> I've never competed anywhere. It's okay, Lisa. You got this. I don't even play the piano in front of other people a lot. <clears throat> How can I make it work? You gotta get over your fear, Lisa. We believe in you, okay? <gasps> oh, now she's getting a call? From who? Is it from her best friends? Hi, girls. Mrs. Schreier recommended me to the teens musical competition. Oh, <gasps> great news. What? Congratulations. But I don't know. Other people are much better than I am. No way. You're the best pianist I've ever known in my life. How many pianists do you know the girl? But don't tell her that because it's going to make her feel bad. <laughs> Delilah, don't be so exaggerated. But Lisa, you play really wonderfully. I enjoy a lot when you play the piano for me. You should be more confident. Ah, I love how supportive her friends are. And Mrs. Shire knows what she's doing. You should also trust her. Yes, you're right. <sighs> so be confident. Okay, I need to go to music class to meet another candidate this afternoon. Talk to you girls later. <laughs> Bye, girls. Oh, okay, she's going to go put on her outfit, you know, the one that we selected for her. So first, let's do her hair since we already know what how outfit's going to look like. I want to see what her hair is going to look like. Oh, girl, your hair looks really nice with the curls. The right I like it. I like it a lot. So we got to make sure she has all her stuff in her bag. You need your phone. Your, don't know what that is. Lipstick, maybe? Keys and your wallet. Because you got to have your identification with you. In case you get kidnapped or something like that, you know? And then <laughs> let's go ahead and put your outfit on. And let's spray this. There we go. Oh, whoa. It's very, uh... How can I say this? Shimmery. I didn't know the hairspray had glitter in it. Um, rule number 10, number 11. Wonderful teamwork. Oh, is this when she meets the cute boy that's going to replace Jack in her life? <gasps> hey there, you must be Lisa. Mrs. Shire mentioned a lot about you. Oh? Aaron? Yes, I'm Aaron. Nice to finally meet you. We will be partners to join the teen musical competition and represent our school. <gasps> so they're performing together? And I'm playing the violin. Nice to meet you. Oh, I think we should try to practice together today. <laughs> Let's get the instruments ready first. Oh, girl, are you flirting with him? Yes, sure. Is that all he has to say? Ugh. Uh, what happened to these instruments? <laughs> Whoa, they look real beat up. Okay, so let me um clean up the keyboard because it's absolutely filthy. And we got to replace these old keys. They're all broken and stuff. And then we've got to fix these little cracks and crevices around here. There we go. Perfect. Let's place the new keys on there. Is this actually how you repair a piano? And then let's see. Are we going to... Ooh. We could paint the piano. Ooh, the blue looks very sophisticated, doesn't it? The red's too much. It's too much. I kind of like the blue. I feel like it looks like real professional, you know? So we're going to go with the blue. There we go. And now we have to clean up the violin because that was filthy as well. So let's go ahead and brush this all off. Oh my gosh, how long has this been sitting there? They're so dirty. There we go. And then let's fix 
the little strings because they're all broken there we go and one more good ass new oh we have to tune it now okay one more on each one and now this one needs to be painted as well i think the yellow actually looks quite cool on this i think the yellow or the white i think i'm gonna go with the yellow because it looks more like a wood color it's the closest one yeah i think that looks good a very colorful instrument we have here all right so can they like start playing them <gasps> look how happy she looks you see her she's so happy <laughs> you're pretty good lisa oh <laughs> you too oh my gosh <laughs> but i think we should have more practice for sure what do you say should we meet every day at 5 p.m to practice yes you're right She's like, yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll meet you every day. I promise, Aaron. I'm in love with you. <laughs> so number 12. No means no. Is that going to be a bit of drama here? I think so. Oh, it's Jack again. Oh my gosh. Is that Lisa? She looks so different now. Almost changed to another person. Oh, yeah, Jack. Well, guess what? You're not getting her back. Okay, she doesn't want you. So pretty. I need to get her back. Let me get her some flowers. No, Jack. No. I should make these flowers look horrible on purpose so that Jack cannot win her over. But you know, we're, we're not going to do that because she deserves nice flowers, you know? She deserves it. Oh, that has a cute little bunny on it. Is that a bunny? Yeah. Aww. Um, I like these. I think they're pretty. And then let's get the, the, the little paper that's going to go around it. I think the purple looks good. Oh, the blue doesn't look too bad either. But I did like the purple. I think the purple looked quite nice. So we're going to go with that. And then let's go ahead and go with a bow. And, oh, I kind of wanted a bow that was going to wrap all the way around. But I guess that one could work. And now we need a little teddy bear or something on there. Let's go with, I don't want the clown. <gasps> Oh, look at that. Should I say love, though? That's kind of a strong word, you know? Let's go with the little teddy bear. There we go. What do you want? Ooh, she's getting real sassy with him. <laughs> Jack, I don't want your flowers. Ooh, I mean, I just want to tell you that I still have feelings for you. Oh, of course you do, Jack. Yeah, right. That's why you made out with some other girl. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? How about Barbara, then? I don't think I like her. She's too... I don't know how to say it, but I really like you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. I mean, no. Please leave me alone. I don't like you anymore, Jack. You stand your ground, girl. You you tell him how you feel. Because he broke your heart. And he doesn't deserve a second chance. Oh, rule number 13. Crazy Cupid love. What's this? Is she going to fall in love again? <gasps> Let's find out. Such a long day. I cannot believe Jack will come and find me again. That doesn't make sense at all. Such a long day. I cannot believe that Jack tried to come find me again. I mean, he's really a jerk. Oh, I need to relax a little bit. I don't want him to think about him anymore. You, you're right. You shouldn't think about him anymore. Because you, you deserve better, okay? So let's get back in your PJs that you're comfortable in. <gasps> How'd your face get so dirty? Okay, let's clean you up a little bit. There we go. Let's rinse that off. There. And then now let's pop your pimples. Yuck. And then let's put some little ointment on them to make sure that, you know, they the redness goes away. You don't get any kind of infection. Wait, is that aloe vera? I think it is. I'm telling you, these games love aloe vera. And now, let's put a little face mask. <laughs> She's a little fox. Uh, oh, we can make her into anything. Okay, that's a cow. A pig. Th these are actually kind of creepy. The zebra is the least creepiest of them all. Yeah, I'm going to go with a zebra just because it's the one that doesn't scare me so much. The rest of them will give me the heebie-jeebies. All right, so there we go. So now your face is nice and fresh and moisturized. Oh, who's calling her? <gasps> Hi, Lisa. You're so busy recently. 
and we heard about what's the name oh right Aaron tell us what's going on hey calm down okay nothing is going on come on Lisa everybody's talking <gasps> is there rumors going around that she's dating Aaron yeah and we're your best friends right Aaron is so cute okay okay it's kind of cute I have to say but for real nothing is really happening right now which means something will happen right oh I think love is in the air and Lisa could try to deny it but we know the truth hey Erin it's you good evening Lisa <laughs> it's quite late is something wrong yeah Erin it's not totally creepy for you to just show up randomly at her house <laughs> no no I just I want to ask you I ask me about what I mean do you have time this Friday night yeah do you want to have dinner with me that night? You mean, I mean, are you asking me out? I mean, yeah, sure. Great, I'll text you the address and time tomorrow. Good night. Oh, okay, good night. She shook. Look at her, she shook. She doesn't know what to do. She's like, oh my gosh. Great fresh start for Lisa. With the help and support from Delilah and Phoebe, seems everything is getting better. Everything is new, new, new. What suggestions will Lisa get from her BFFs later? Lisa changes herself upside down. Also, the new challenge is coming. Will the teen musical competition go well? What will happen to her and Aaron? Stay tuned to our next app. Oh! <laughs> Look, although I think Aaron is really cute, and I think it's good that they have the same interests and stuff. I do kind of feel like she just got out of a relationship with Jack. She's just kind of rediscovering herself. Maybe she should slow things down with Aaron, be a strong, independent woman for a while. And then when she's like, you know, kind of into herself again, then maybe she could start dating again. But right now, I think she just got heartbroken. It's not good to just jump from one relationship into another. But I hope the best for Lisa because I really like her. And her best friends, um, they seem alright, you know. I'm not really 100% sure how I feel about them right now. Um, because I feel like they should have just reassured her rather than making her change herself and, and her appearance and stuff. But... I think it'll all work out. We'll have to wait and see. If you guys want me to do part three when it finally comes out, let me know in the comments down below. I'll also have a link to the game in the description below. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!